However, maybe none of that. You know, just a situation where you're not at work. If you go to work like that, you know, and you get time to do something that you should have been doing anyway, and you end up doing that shit, you know, like it's like well needed, and you end up doing it. Um, shit, that's beautiful for one. Like you know, things just gel, click together the the way that they're supposed to. I suppose you know, it's just kind of that simple. And um, I've been catching up on you know tagline and then getting getting those videos straight because I just been putting them up. It, it need a little extra boost. You got to do what you got to do with that kind of kind of thing, man. And I don't know. I'm 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 still feeling it out. I'm I'm very much working on being specific. It's just a few specific topics. Like I said, you're gonna have to go to the other channel. The the one I put it on the thing. I made a point to to uh, put it in the description. That's Freedom Green. And Freedom Green is geared toward... Uh, that's more toward health. I'm still going to talk about health, health as well. More toward, you know, I am me. Regardless of where I'm at. But, you know, keep that more with that. With the health. With gardening. I don't have rabbits or quails anymore. You can check out some of them videos. Shit from when my... I've been doing this shit for a long time. But not serious. I just was putting up some videos. You know, calling myself being serious. And I was more... Uh, what well, YouTube was... I, I Like, doing this wasn't nothing. I actually... I guess I wanted to do it, but I couldn't particularly see myself doing it, you know, so, yeah, 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 I, so I started the process with the Mixler, I started doing, the, the like, a radio podcast, a radio broadcast, whatever, whatever the fuck you want to call it, like, doing that, and that, um, You know, to get my speaking, talking experience, uh, and that was one one drop brew radio, reality radio thirteen, because one drop brew radio is cool, but it's very divisive ish. You know, like. It, nothing wrong with that, but on, like you know, on second thought, I figure Reality Radio Thirteen just kind of covers a lot of stuff. Just racism, Illuminati, the prison industrial complex. I was really heavily into studying all of that stuff, man. Once I once I discovered motherfucking Illuminati, I just lost my mind. Like what? We got to stop this now. And shit, good fucking luck with that. I know a lot of people be like that too, you know. Like, I can't believe this is going on. This is, we got to stop this. Man, the motherfuckers founded this country. That's the thing about it. That's the grease that made this bitch go around. The Illuminati. That's the ones that's pulling all the strings. They keep us one way or the other in some kind of shit. Okay, how free your ass. You got to pay property tax on property. And potentially homeowners. It's going to be something. At least on property tax. Where the fuck you buy a property in a mountain and you buy a mountain you gonna pay property tax on the motherfucking mountain 
I don't. Just the American way. They don't play that shit. That's why things are so jacked up. Cause they, man, they 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 make money and jobs by any means necessary, and the motherfucker be holding on to them bullshit ass jobs like tax jobs and shit like that, like all those bullshit jobs, tax jobs, child support workers. A lot of people that's supposed to help you that really be putting it in your raw. No Vaseline. Just <laughs> straight wood. <laughs> Splinters and all. You know? Man, it's some real hardcore shit out here. You feel me? Yes, and furthermore, like I say, like I be saying, man, these suckers in these positions, in these corporations, government jobs, industries, if you a warden, all you can do it's the same shit that the other warden did. You can be more crooked, crooked, stealing shit, shit like that, baby. You know what I'm saying? Same with anybody. The mayor or the, uh, uh, some official at a college, president at the college, whatever. You, you know, housing all that shit for yourself, buying personal shit most of the time. Mm -mm. I don't know most. I don't know about most of the time. A lot of the times, it does catch up with them. It's definitely taking a chance. Who knows? Because you don't know who's getting away. You can't never really know most. Whatever you understand. I mean, you never gonna know how many get in the way. How can you say that? This many percent got away. And this minute, you know who got caught. That's all you know. So that and shit. Even Governor Edwin Edwards in Louisiana, they sent his ass to jail. You know. I think he out now. I'm saying, the former. I don't know. If I think it was the former, um, former governor, you know, whatever. And the same thing like with Ray Nagin. This, it's, 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 he was a white boy, uh, white man, whatever, you know, um, and whenever it's, but Nagin was black, and it's uh, somebody, I think the one for Detroit and. Somewhere else, you know, like mayors and different things. A lot of the black ones, they really go out there. You know how it is. They really go out there heavily. They watch the shit out of him. They was trying to get Mark Morio scrutinizing him. Um, Jefferson, I think. I uh, can't even think of his first name. But Jefferson, man, for New Orleans, man, they got him. They got his whole family pretty much locked up. Behind political corruption, basically, you know, like kickbacks, whatever. Your boy that had the money in the freezer. When Katrina was going on, that dude, what's, what's his name? And you know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, so, it, it, all of that, that's like they can do those kind of things. They can do dirtier things but as far as they're like they can not do their job that's true but they their job is their job they can't do nothing more with the job they can do less they cannot do the job they can do a poor job 
but a lot of them, it's if anything, you know, you want to keep your job. You're going to do what it takes to keep the job. The job said lock up more people than the last guy did. And, you know, nothing about no people being innocent or um, say like, right, say if you're the DA or whoever and you exonerated a, a large amount of people that were falsely accused you know you went through the records and you start correcting shit that's not what that don't get you reelected. locking people up gets you reelected. it is what it is so they just a cog so what are you white or black you know no one's doing that kind of work and I guess that's not my job. You know how it is. That's not my job. If they can do it or not, probably not. It's just like no one wants that. They don't like it when them people get out. They they have evidence and, you know, sometimes they still fight them on it. Even with the DNA evidence. They want them locked up. They care nothing about the truth. That's not the way... The system operates. It's not about truth. It's about numbers. And it's about private prisons and all of that. And like all oh, that's just a whole nother subject. And I could get into it. You know, I still got enough memory. Um, I haven't totally forgot about the industrial prison complex, please. You know, and things change. Some details about that may have changed. They still got private investors. I you know they making more money than ever. I'm sure. Man, fuck that. Like, but anyhow, I'm 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 getting off. Like the the cogs in the system, the teachers, even the teachers. Look at this shit. You try to teach critical race theory, so-called critical race theory, anything touching on that shit. And see, don't you not be no teacher no more. You can only teach what they tell you to teach. You can put your little accent on it. The way you talk is different. Your you, your presentation may be slightly different. You can't change the curriculum. You can't add nothing to it. You can't take nothing away from it. You can't improve it. If you see room for improvement, there's nothing you can do. Your hands fucking tired. You a cog in the machine. All you can do, they can put anybody in that spot, and they gonna do, they can not do their job. Once again, you know, you know, you're not a machine, so you can always choose to be choose to be a slacker. That's always a choice, and however long that lasts, it lasts. You know, most jobs ain't gonna put up with that shit. Even teachers, they're gonna even teachers, <laughs> even indoctrinators, because that's all they're doing. Exactly, because they can't. If you can't actually teach. And you got to tiptoe around history. That's crazy. They just dumbing, dumbing them down, dumbing them down, dumbing them down. So much, you know. Yeah, and I suppose this year is where I'm getting lazy in a way. I got I got to um get I'm supposed to be doing an actual podcast perhaps get back on Mixler man none of this shit's magic that's that's what I get I guess I know it didn't realize it but finding a niche you know I thought black power um black lives matter this that the other but um I guess well it's it's a 
It's an evolution. You live and you learn all of these things. But I can't just be as much as possible. I ain't just trying to be no cog. I ain't trying to be no, um, what that shit is, that motherfucker, uh, uh, citizen zero, whatever, citizen hero, exposing everything, pulling Fuck that. I, I do want to live. And you be exposing shit to people, telling them the truth on everything, and people just going to go on with their life anyway. It might really give a fuck, you know? The hood would take your ass out. The same hood you're trying to uplift. Or just, you know, watch you go down for the most part for the most part there may there may be somebody like they look at Nipsey as as a hero or whatever a lot of people do but shit somebody killed him so somebody don't somebody think he a chump they they like the status quo you know how it is man people don't don't want no improvement, that mean they got to improve. They got to step their game up. And there lies the problem when you're dealing with a bunch of lazy-ass people. Nobody wants to step their game up. You know, we like it just how it is. We can just stay comfortable. And I know the deal. I had to change anything. Yeah, I'm getting a little off. Cogs can't change shit. All they do is fit in and like a gear in the clock. The clock that that that's just the gear in the clock that makes the clock tick. The clock go around. That shit break. They take that cog out and they put another one in, and the clock just tick. It, you can't do nothing but just fall in line into your position. That's where I'm at with what I'm saying. You know. And all of us like that. And we living in their shit. Speaking of Illuminati. In, into their idea of what the world should be. And how the world should work. The prison. America. Prison planet. Might be a prison planet too. It's definitely prison America. And they don't want you to go nowhere. They want to hold you hostage. One way or the other. Get you into the system. One way or the other. Or several ways. Even. You know? Yeah, man. So, I'm going to keep on working on this thing. Ain't no, ain't no giving up. I'm just gonna going have to dig deeper. Dig deeper into the well and find the power. You know what I mean? That's what's up. So I'm gonna keep it going and um once again I'm gonna throw that thing out there to to get on. But I guess I'm expecting the unexpectable, unexpectable. Like I, I need to get my topics together, my questions, my topics of what I would want to talk about when I get on a phone call. I extended that invitation to get on a duo Skype, whatever call. I think duo might be the way to go, but whatever. Um, so. I'm working on that. Um, yeah, I can't expect the you. Well, necessarily, because I, I, I mean, I, if if uh, this was something that you want to do, this would be a good way to start. Shit, I, I can't think of everything, but if I have to, I have to. I'll come up with the topics, the ideas, the questions, the flow. 
And, you know, just do it like that. I got to get it together. But, my, you know, man, the time. Uh, I could tell you my day. I ain't going to tell you nothing. But I could tell you my day. I, I really have it full. And even when I don't do everything, man, there's never no time in the day to do everything on a list. The list always carry over and carry over. And I scratch a lot of shit off. I handle, I handle my business. I mean, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be what it is if I did. Thank, I'm thankful for that. Thankful that I, I, I'm able to handle my business I, in more ways than one, but mentally. Because no matter how much you make, if you're going to fuck it up, that's what you're going to do. You know? It takes discipline. And discipline is hard. Um, it is, truly. Okay, I'm a, I'm a, um, I could talk and I could talk and I could talk, but I don't want to talk beyond our capacity to comprehend and take it in and all that because I know attention spans is not what they used to be. Although we get in situations to where we can listen and we listen, you know, not so much watch. We in a position where, you know, we're working out or walking or whatever the case is and we able to listen and it that's cool. I, I, I do that a lot with with a few um YouTube podcasts, whatever, things that I'm interested in. And you can get some value out of it like that or entertainment, whatever, jokes. I can't. And I wish I could make some jokes. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. I can be like, like the uh, the old ladies. They never let you leave. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, I'm going to talk to you. i see you later. Okay, all right. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, like, man. It's be like that. Leaving, um. The country, look, look, look. <laughs> It'd be like that, leaving the country, man. We never, we be fifteen, twenty minutes standing there talking about some more. Okay, all right, and going off into some more shit. However, I'm gonna say peace. I'm out, y'all.